Two life jackets, a blanket, and three bottles of water. Hey, little Miss Perfect, I think we got everything we need. Shut up, you can never be too careful. <laughs> Listen, we're not sailing to China. If we get stranded out there, I'll catch the fish. You catch fish? Since when? All men are naturally born fishermen. Listen, Sean, if Dad was still here, he would have come with us. <sighs> Aaron, I miss Dad too, but I think he would have still wanted for us to go, you know? finally awake. What happened? You took a dive off the boat, Michael Phelps. At first it was funny, then it got kind of sad, but then it was funny again. My head is killing me. Well, don't worry. I, uh, I canceled our trip and you will be useless as my sailing buddy until you're better. I had this weird dream where I was all alone on an island. Okay, that's great. Um, but it sounds like a fantastic story. We'll talk about it when you're better. Rise up, hop on two feet, soldier. Come on, let's go for a walk. Sean, wait up. Sean, what are we doing here? I'm sorry, Aaron, I can't help you. Why? Listen, the only advice I can give you is that you need to find water and shelter before nightfall. In fact, you're running out of time right now. Why are you here? way too fast. Sorry. Okay, listen, reoccurring dreams happen all the time, okay? They've happened to me too. Yeah, but this one was immersive. Like, I felt like I was there. I was scared. Uh, okay, think of it this way. Um, let's say that what you're dreaming is real. Let's say you're in the survival situation and you're all alone. Is, aren't you doing okay still? Because, like you said, you found water, you found shelter, and you're on an island, so I'm assuming you have some warm sunlight? I still want to get out of this terrible dream. I just feel so alone and hopeless. Well, Aaron, sometimes, you know, you can be just as, if not more capable on your own. You know that, right? What do you mean? Think of it this way. All right, Aaron, I think this pencil is you, just you. And now these, these are your friends who may or may not always be with you. And now this, this is your wall of problems. Now, don't laugh. Stay with me on this. Now, let's say you and your friends are just so good together, and this is your wall of problems. Give me your hand, and I want you to hold these for me. All right, now let's say you're holding these, and like that, bam, bam, bam. It doesn't go through, but sometimes when you're all alone, sometimes you just make more of a dent. Do you get what I'm saying? Did you think of this analogy by yourself? I did. Am I not the smartest guy you know? Sean, I'm okay. I think I can walk. No, okay, listen. You lay down, get some rest, and I'll bring dinner to your room. 
But what if I have that dream again about the island? It all felt too real. Oh, let's think of it. Um, okay, um, Aaron, think of it like this. I've read a lot about lucid dreaming, so here's a tip. When, if you do end up on that island somehow again, you have to go out there and scout the area. Because usually there's something in the dream that just doesn't make sense. Maybe the sky is purple and brown, or maybe a tree keeps following you. But it's usually more subtle than that. And maybe if your dream happens to be as realistic as you say it is, and it still is after this advice, maybe you should donate your brain to science. <laughs> All right, Sean, if you think so, I guess I'll trust you. I love you, Sean. Thank you for everything. I love you too, sis. Um, Dad's in the living room too if you want to talk to him. It's not real, it's not real, it's not real. It's just a dream, it's not real, it's not real. Hey, Aaron, how'd the search for your island go? Where were you? I was looking all over for you and I couldn't find you. I asked you first, how'd your search go? I mean, I guess there were like no oddities. I was looking all over and I couldn't find any. I guess my dreams are too realistic. Or maybe all of this is real and this isn't a dream. I'm not in the mood for your stupid joke, Sean. You're lucky to have found me, and please don't run off again. Um, were there any oddities with the dream of you in the house? No, there were no oddities. But wait, how do you know about those dreams? Well, Aaron, think about this. Remember when I was in the dream with you, and I talked about Dad. Dad in the, in the living room waiting for us. You know as well as I Stop. do. Stop! I know what you're trying to do, and it's not real. It's not working. That's real, and this isn't. Who said anything about me being stuck here? What do you mean? I think you know what I mean. Aaron. Stop it, Sean. I'm not alone on this island. Aaron, you need to get up right now. Shut up. I'm done with your lies. Aaron, you need to get up. You need to go. You need to get washed out by the shelter. The sun is going down. You don't have much time. You're just a hallucination. Why am I listening to you? Aaron, I'm trying to help you. What in God's name are you doing? I'm trying to get out of this nightmare. Come on, Aaron. This isn't the time to be joking around. I need you to get up. Listen. I know I'm not always the ideal brother, and I know I can be rude sometimes, but you're still everything to me, and I really do care about you. I don't even know what's real anymore. Listen, Aaron, if, you're having, if your hallucination is having doubts about this, then maybe you have some doubt about this plan as well. Come on, get up. I'm telling you, you gotta get up. That's it, come on. There you go, dig deep, come on. Yes, like that. Hey, sis. Hey, Sean. Man, three days out here, new world record. But you can't tell me that you don't miss your nice warm day. Of course I do, but I really miss my family and my friends and being with you all the time. Well, I know that those, those days where you dream about being in your home with real me, I know those were the days you really looked forward to. Yeah, but there's nothing I can do about it now. You really taught me the importance of self-reliance and that I don't really need you or anyone to take care of me. Man, you really are a little Miss Perfect. No, I'm being serious, Sean. I'll adapt. I'll be okay. You trust me on my own, right? Sean? Sean?